Hello, I am KHM. In Elite Dangerous currently, there is a community event going on to search for Starship One, which in case you don't know is the presidential ship that crashed last year. For this event, you'll need to collect uh, wreckage components, which took me a few hours to figure out how to get, um, in search of wreckage for this uh, spacecraft. And uh, I thought I would share what I figured out uh, with you guys in this video here. This one right here, the one you're watching. Yeah. But before you head out, you'll need to pick up a few things. First off, you're going to need a ship with a good cargo capacity. Because you're going to want to haul around as much crap as you can per trip. Next, you're going to need a collector limpet controller, which will allow you to control up to three limpets at any time. You can probably do more or less, whatever works for you. I found three to work quite well. You'll also need to pick up one up that emphasizes range uh, over everything else. Uh, lifespan really isn't all that important because you're going to just be abandoning them after a minute or so. I went for a 5B. I found that worked out quite nicely for me. The next item on the list is shields. Shields are an absolute must. You're going to need them. Because you're going to have debris and other ships crashing into you. I wouldn't say on a regular basis, but more than you're probably used to. Unless, of course, you play bumper ships. And lastly, you're going to want to buy limpets, of course, for, to go along with your controller. Your controller's kind of useless without them. Uh, you're going to be getting about two or so items per limpet, so fill up roughly less than half of your cargo space with limpets. Okay, now that you're all geared up, go ahead and head over to the Niji system, the fourth planet of which has exactly what we're looking for. So what you're going to be looking for is a salvageable wreckage site. But this isn't an ordinary salvageable wreckage site. This one is persistent. It will always be there, in the same place, every single time. Which makes finding it really easy. Especially since uh, uh, one way that you can tell it apart from normal uh, wreckage sites is uh, that you can see it from much, much further away. Uh, I believe this one you can see up to like 600 light year seconds away. So, if you see one that's 600 light seconds away, that one is probably the one you're looking for. Go ahead, lock onto it, head over there. And then once you drop out of Super Cruise, you'll see the wreckage components that we're after, along with five rescue ships. Don't bother to try to get the components just yet. You'll never be able to get them before the uh, rescue ships can. Instead, you're just going to want to try to figure out where they are and get as close to them as you possibly can. About 500 meters away is probably about good. Uh, less if you can achieve it would be awesome. Then what you'll need to do is come to a complete stop, quit out to the main menu, and then enter solo session. If you've done it all right, you'll find yourself right next to the cargo you need. Go ahead and spam your limpets and open up your cargo hatch, or uh, your cargo scoop. You should be able to get most, if not all, the items before the rescue ships can. As a little side note here, the NPC ships will chase and try to scoop up your limpets while they're carrying cargo. This is quite rather amusing to watch as your limpets are usually far more maneuverable than them and can easily get away. Once all the items in the area have been collected up, Quit out to the main menu, re-enter the solo session, and do it all again. And just keep doing this until you are completely full of cargo. Or out of limits. Programming limpet drone. Programming limpet drone. Programming. Once you're full of cargo, it's time to turn your wreckage components in. Now keep in mind that all your wreckage components have the stolen flag set. 
So, unless you want to risk being scanned and having to pay a large fine, you're going to have to sneak in. Now, some of you are probably wondering how you sneak a 2,200-ton starship into a city. Well, you do it surprisingly enough in the exact same way you would sneak a bulldozer through a china shop. At full speed. Docking request granted. Once you're in, you need to sell your items on the black market to receive credit for your efforts. And with that, I am now in the top 10%, and I'm out of here.